What's up everybody? Justin here to do uh, my final May Young Classic review for episode 7 and 8. Got uh, smacked on live on. Carmella just lost because she got distracted by stupid E.T. Ellsworth. His dumb ass decided to throw in the brief. I that was Carmella's intention. That is really stupid of E.T. Carmella didn't want to cash in and she throws the briefcase back at him. That's pretty funny. Then she gets rolled up and loses to Natalia. So anyways, <clears throat> SmackDown Live goes on mute. Episode 7, May Young Classic Review. Maybe it doesn't go on mute. Because Carmella just picked up a microphone. Maybe she'll dump James Ellsworth. Please dump E.T. already. You're the sorriest excuse for a human being I have ever met. God damn time. Drop his ass. In fact, you don't need you're him. not even a human. Yeah, she's causing you're not even a human. That's true. Honestly, He's James. He's E.T. Ellsworth. You're the sorriest excuse for a human being I have ever met. You think I need some genetic defect like you to succeed? You really think I need that? How do you even, how do you even work here, James? How are you still employed? Because you're employed. You know what you are, James? Carmella. You're a charity case. And your mother? Your mother should have given you away at birth. Carmella. You are so lucky to even be in my presence. And now you stuck that pathetic lump where your chin's supposed to be in my business for the last time. Carmella going off. And now, James, you and me, this, us, you know what, James? I like this, Carmella. We're through! Good. Finally dropped him. Dumped his ass. <laughs> That's funny as hell. E.T.'s about to cry in the ring. So episode 7, back to my review. I just had to listen to that. I apologize. Episode 7, May Young Classic, kicked off with... What was the first match? It had to be... Uh, I don't know what the first match was. I'm going to just say I think it was... Gosh, uh might have been, Mar I'll just say, is Mercedes Martinez against Abby Length. Pretty good match. I did not expect Abby to win, but I love her. I'm so happy Abby is signed by WWE. Hopefully very soon she can debut on NXT. Because Abby is great. She's such a great talent. So it was Abby Mercedes Martinez. Mercedes Martinez wins as expected. I predicted she would. Check out my live reactions to the May Young Classic for episode 5, 6, 7, and 8 May Young Classic live reactions. Mercedes Martinez wins. So she goes to the uh, semifinals. This was episode 7 was the quarterfinals. Up next... We had Shayna Bezler against Candice LeRae, Johnny Gargano's wife, Candice. Shayna Bezler wins and pretty quickly, and she dominated her. In the beginning of the match, she would not shake her hand. She was pushing her, kicking her in the head, slapping her around. Shayna Bezler had no respect for Candice. Shayna Bezler really started getting booed a lot. One of the uh, Ronda Rousey's four horsewomen 
So Shayna Bezler is getting booed a lot. She's playing it up. She's a pretty good heel. And she, uh, Candace tried her swinging neck breaker off the second rope, but it was countered into the rear naked choke. And Candace tapped out in Shayna Bezler to get a lot of heat. She kept the rear naked, rear, rear naked choke on. I can't even say it. She kept the rear naked choke on. She would not let go. She would not release it. She kept choking her out, choking her out. Referees were trying to pull her off. Then at the end of the match, Johnny Gargano was by his wife's side in the ring to check on her. And Shayna Baszler goes up to her and kicks her in the leg. So Shayna Baszler wins the tag. Uh, I forgot to turn off whatever. That's my Twitter notifications. This video, this review will not be that long. So Shayna Baszler wins by tap out. Rear naked choke. Up next was uh, I think that was the final match. So I'll say it was our uh, up next was so good. Such a good match. Such a good match. I loved it. Piper Nevin taking on Tony Storm and it was such a fun, enjoyable match to watch. I loved it. Both of these women are great. Great talents. Piper Nevin was doing the bridge up along with Tony Storm. They had their hands connected. They did a flip over, laying on their backs, had both their shoulders down. One, two, then they bridged up. And they're staring at each other. And they released hands and they actually shook hands while they were bridged up. That was pretty awesome. This match was great. I loved it. Piper Nevin, she deserves to be signed to WWE I hope she debuts in NXT I don't know if they're going to sign her I do not know if you know please tell me and comment under this video or tweet me at WWE NXT guy and tell me if you know that if Piper Nevin is signed because I have a feeling she's not and they better sign her immediately because she's damn good Again, I'll say, she's like a female, Vader, she's that good. She's agile, she's quick, she can do anything that w women her size should not be able to do, but she can do it all. Tony Storm wins. I really, please, please WWE sign Tony Storm signer. She is so good. And she's only 21. That's pretty unreal. I can't believe she's only 21. Because she's a great technical wrestler. She's fantastic. She's got all the facial expressions down. She has a look. She's attractive as hell. I love her wrestling style. I love her personality. Tony Storm is... One of the best. One of the best that was in the tournament. So, I hope they sign Piper Nevin and Tony Storm. But Tony Storm, she, oh, she's damn impressive. Because she's only 21. Piper Nevin, also damn impressive. Tony Storm wins with a leg drop off the top rope. After she had a German suplex... To Piper Nevin, she German suplexed her off the second rope. That was damn impressive. And then she hit a leg drop for the victory. So now the main event of episode 7 was Dakota Kai. I love her. I love Dakota Kai. What a talent. Not only is she, is she super, super cute and attractive, but she is such a great worker. Great wrestler, Dakota Kai. I've said it on my live reaction. She was one of my favorites in the tournament. Dakota Kai against Kyrie Sane. Very good match. Hard hitting, stiff, and I loved it. Dakota Kai when did a running kick in the corner. That's damn impressive. Kyrie Sane hit her back fist, hit her flying forearm. Hit her elbow drop finisher and Kyrie Sane wins 
Kyrie Sane's in the semifinals. Now on my episode 8. Only two matches on episode 8. Two matches, semifinals. Only four women remain. Four women remain. Two will go to the finals. And the finals, by the way, are next Tuesday. I believe after SmackDown. Uh, I hope the crowd, after SmackDown, the crowd might be dead. And might not be into the finals. But they should be. So the semifinals, episode 8. Two matches only. Mercedes Martinez up first taking on her friend. She helped train and she's a mentor. Shayna Bezler taking on her mentor, Mercedes Martinez. They're in a group, in a faction, together in Shimmer. This was pretty good. It was teacher versus student. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Shayna Bezler wins. Gets Mercedes Martinez to tap out. Mercedes Martinez is, she's damn good. I don't know if WWE wants to sign her, but they should. And maybe she doesn't want to be signed. Maybe Mercedes wants to keep working different indies and different women companies because maybe she can make more money. I don't know. But Shayna Bezler wins. She's in the finals. One of the four horsewomen. Shayna Bezler in the finals. By the way, Triple H, Stephanie were in the ring to hold her hand up. And the NXT, I believe, woman, the woman's, woman's trainer in NXT, the head trainer, I think she's still the head trainer. Sarah Del Rey, former wrestler in Shimmer, Sarah Del Rey. So now the main event, Kyrie Sane. Taking on Tony Storm. This was... So damn good. I loved it. I enjoyed it. I love Kyrie Sane. She deserves to be in the finals. When you know Dolph Ziggler finally returning to the ring. I think he's going to have a match. No, he's going to cut a promo and probably leave again. All of you here tonight, and the rest of the WWE Universe, you have no appreciation for what I can do in that ring. No, 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 no. You'd rather sit here on your hands. You'd rather sit here unsatisfied with the greatest performer in WWE history right here in front of your face. Dolph, you're damn good, but... You're not the greatest performer in WWE history. There's a few of them. Shawn Michaels, probably number one. To me, Shawn Michaels is number one. Undertaker, Bret Hart, guys like that. The Rock. Uh, I don't know, Stone Cold is kind of broken down. But he was a good performer. Seth Rollins. I don't like John Cena, but... I respect him. John Cena, great performer. Not of all time, but good performer. So Dolph, I guess he left and walked out again. And now he runs back out. What the hell's he doing? He just runs back out with a baseball hat on. Like he's John Cena shaking a towel through his baseball hat to the crowd. <laughs> he's shaking. <laughs> oh my. He's shaking a towel, white towel. It had DZ on it for Dolph Ziggler. He threw the towel in the crowd like he's seen him. Now he's uh, teasing the crowd that he's going to run to the ring. This is funny is how great heat that Ziggler's getting. That didn't work for you? No, you saw through it? I got some. But you love nostalgia, right? Yeah, here we go. Dolph going to come out to another entrance. Lights go out. Undertaker entrance. He's going to come out in a uh, trench coat and black hat like the Undertaker. What is Dolph doing? Macho Man music. Randy Savage music. With a 
hot chick by his side like she's Elizabeth. <laughs> This Dolph Ziggler is on fire. Dolph shaking his head, getting back on the mic. Now you're not buying it? Usually go for that nostalgia crap. Not tonight? That's a shame. You know what? This isn't working. I'm sorry. Take this robe back. You're not needed here. Thank you. I don't know who that woman is, but... That woman is damn attractive. Listen, I know exactly what you want and what you deserve. Hit the lights. Glorious. He's going to do Bobby Roode's entrance, I bet you. This is getting weird. Lights are out. Oh my God, the Naomi entrance. Feel the glow. Oh, Liz Dolph. Come on, guys. Dolph only may have some likes to it. Speak for yourself. Dolph. I like this new Dolph Ziggler. The guy's a attitude. His face, he looks like he's done. Like he's not gonna re-sign. Like he doesn't care anymore, but I like the storyline. So this is what it's come to, huh? Dumbass hand gestures, dancing like an idiot, lasers, costumes. That's what you want, huh? Anyone! Anyone could do what I just did. Anybody. But no one can do what I do in that ring. Uh, I don't know if Dolph is going to leave, but soon. I don't know when his contract's up, but at least they're giving the guy a lot of TV time. Maybe he's getting a new opportunity. I don't know. Back to my review. I apologize, but whatever. This review's gone longer because I'm watching SmackDown Live. So Kyrie Sane, the main event was Kyrie Sane against Tony Storm, and it was damn good. I already said that. It's damn good. I love both of these women. Kyrie Sane wins. They had a great match. Kyrie Sane wins with her flying elbow drop. So the finals is set for next Tuesday in Vegas. I think after SmackDown Live. Because I doubt they're going to be in Vegas, SmackDown is. So they're not going to run another building or arena just for the finals. I'm sure the finals of the Mae Young Classic will take place after SmackDown Live next Tuesday. So it's Kyrie Sane against Shayna Bezler. Kyrie Sane better win. She better win. But maybe she won't. They're really pushing Shayna Bezler. I could see her winning and doing a rear naked choke and winning and then being handed the NXT women's title. And I think Shayna Bezler, she's good enough. She's a good enough worker and wrestler. I think she'd be a not a bad NXT Women's Champion. She's definitely a million times better than uh, Eva Marie ever was. And Dana Brooke put together. So it is Shayna Bezler, Kyrie Sane in the finals. That should be good. Kyrie Sane is an underdog, in my opinion, because she's a lot smaller and less powerful. And I uh, actually read something last night that Kyrie Sane might have suffered a neck injury and a concussion during the May Young Classic. But that was taped in July. So I'm sure her concussion symptoms, I hope, are cleared up and 
she's not having headaches or is bothered by bright light. So Kyrie's saying, I hope she didn't suffer a concussion, but she might have because she was wor working like, like she's working like crazy. Her style is pretty insane. How she flies around and takes a lot of stiff, hard hits. So Kyrie saying, Shayna Baszler, I'm happy with the finals. I'll be more happy if Kyrie Sane wins. But if Shayna Baszler wins, I'll be okay with it. This is my episode 7 and 8 May Young Classic review. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of SmackDown Live. Bye for now, everybody.